Hello, everybody. Well, let's say hello to a few people that actually watch me. I've been on YouTube since the beginning, and I don't know, maybe I don't know. I got nine, I got ninety eight subscribers. There's people on here talking bullshit. Got thousands, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Anyway, well, what the hoodoo man want to talk to you about today? I was going to talk to you, talk to you about some of the old time slaves tricks. They call it turn trick, and I ain't talking about you know the real turn, you know the other turn trick. I mean, they call changing the situation with magical. I like to use that word, but changing the situation. But suppose that magic is turning a trick. And it is. Well, some people, like I said, have been asking me about some tricks. Old time hoodoo recipes. And let me see if I can give you a few, okay? They, they did a lot of quick kills. They did a lot of things that you uh, wouldn't expect and that you might see as disgusting. A lot of these practices are very powerful, and they wow. work because that's all the people had back in those days to use and use, and it worked for them. How you think our ancestors survived? How you think we're here? Okay, I'm gonna give you one. Uh, if your lover goes on a, out on a trip. And you want to return soon. You take a pen. You put it with the sharp side up in the ground. You take an egg. And you put it on top of that pen. By the time that egg runs out, your lover should come back. He should come, be, come back to you from this trip. I wonder how many times that works. Now, some people try to say everything from back in the day was better than everything from today. I just want to say that's, that's bullshit. There's a lot of things from the day that's better than today. But there are a lot of things today, I'm quite sure you would agree with me, that you wouldn't be one to, call, be one to, be one to be caught dead without... Because you probably would be dead without. But anyway, you know, people didn't have the technology, the medical technology they had today. So they had to really put their soul and spirit into it. And they had to really call upon whatever God they serve. Well, I'll tell you which God. Everybody think they serve Jesus. They, they called on Jesus. But they were serving the Redeemer part of Jesus. The part of Jesus in Revelation that rides on the white horse. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of scholars state that riding the pale horse was Jesus. We know it was at least an angel. And it was uh, God, Jesus, pouring out his vengeance on the world for one rejecting his son. So that's the Redeemer God. That's the God of the Old Testament that spank your ass. And that's really the God that our slave relatives, our slave ancestors served. Now they called on Jesus. They believed in Jesus. They believed in the loving and healing part of Jesus. But they also believed in the vengeance part of Jesus. And that would be the father. As the Jews called him Yuvay Wave. That's the real name for Yahweh. From the dream he told me, yeah, he called me English because I speak English. In a dream he told me I could call him Jehovah whatever. So 
Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. I, I gave you all we gave you one spin. Um I'm gonna give you a nice one, or kinda halfway nice one, okay? And it goes like this. If you want a lover back, say you you broke up with this cat or female or whatever, you want him back. We know about all the burning candles and the Adam and Eve root and uh uh uh, uh always always uh you know the magnetic shit always from the low stones bring them together every day burn a little bit of candy candle every day bring them together every day okay we know that so you do you pick whichever one of those you want to pick and do it in the background but I'm gonna give you this here spell right here. <clears throat> you make some kind of image. Say if you want, I'm gonna use a female. Say if you're a woman, you want your man back. He's a good man, worked hard, put it on you right, did everything right, but you fucked it up somehow. You fucked up. You scurried on away like a little mouse, scurried on away. You want him back. But you haven't really been that successful. Okay. You make an image. If you got anything of his left behind you on your home, a t shirt, old clothes, anything, you cut it up and put it on this image. Anything that's him that carries his uh his energy and you go to the window you open this window if you can't wait till it's a little windy. But you know, a hoodoo is not really all that dependent upon the time. Even though, well, well hoodoo is mostly dependent on the time of the moon. But if you must do this spell, and it's not the same type of the new moon that you're looking for, do it any moon and keep doing it. And when the new moon comes, then you really lay it on. You can do it. <clears throat> you need to do a, uh, a recipe. You know, you can do it any any time. It don't necessarily have to be a certain time, but it it does, but it don't. Because I found that these holidays, people didn't just do it for shit, make them up for shits and gigs. There's really certain types of power prevalent in the times in the times of these certain. Holidays or whatever you fall. It really is. Not ever paying attention to holidays. But somehow, the very thing that that holiday represents, I kind of wound up doing, doing. And I've seen other people like that too. Okay, getting back. Now you make this image of this guy. You go to the window. Let the wind blow out. And then when the wind comes back in. When the wind blows out, you can open two windows. One in front of you, one a back one or what have you. When the wind blows out, you say lovely, lovely. You're gone. The wind blows in. You say, "Come back to me." If you take this image and you rub this image on your titties, ladies. You rub it on your titties, and you feel, really feel, how you felt when he put his hands on you. That special thing. You know what I'm talking about. 
you make yourself hot. Play around with your nipples. You play around with you know. You make yourself wet. You take this towel, this image, and you bring it caressingly, sexually, gently down your stomach. And you leave it there for a minute. On that shot. And you take it on down to you know what. And you get a little bit, you know, a little juices on it. And you just don't just do it quick. I mean, really get in it. Really feel it. Really become it. And then when you feel the wind blowing back at you, you say, Love will come back to me. Whatever his name is, you say it. The, the lover come back to me is when you're just looking for a lover. Because you don't have one. But you say the man's name. Richard come back to me. Tommy come back to me. Uh, uh, Dre come back to me. Tyrone come back to me. But a nigga named Tyrone, you need to make a spell. Nigga, get the fuck away from me. But that's something. That's something. That, that's, that's something for another time. You, you do this earnestly. And you do it. Once a week at the same time, same place, same window, same time. And you do it until, until that man comes back to you. But you do all your other stuff in the background. With your candles, with your oils. There's so many love, uh, bring back love spells. So many of them. Pick one. Uh, and that, and then with that on top of you visualizing him in that image that you've made, you visualize it as him hugging you, kiss, you kiss, kiss, kiss the image, embrace it. I mean, really, really let it become him. Really let yourself get worked up. And you go to that window and do it what I say. Do what, I tell, what I'm telling you to do. But also, ladies, you got, you have to take care of what, uh, of whatever uh, thing that you were doing that, that ran him away. Whatever habits you had, or whatever, be it if you too goddamn uh, uh, stubborn, you might be, I don't know, a Capricorn or a Taurus. Be it if uh, you was one of the women that can't keep your dress up or uh, down, you gotta work on that. Uh, whatever it is that you were doing wrong, if it's your family that drove him away, you got to tell your family, look, I have my time with you, but you can't be interrupting my time with my man. You got to tell them, don't, if you come call before calling, I'm not going to let you in. <clears throat> my man comes first. Even tell your mama. Even though mama comes before, her, you know, your mama will be there when the nigga's on. But you got to tell her, mama, my man, you know, my man, you and him don't get along. When he come, I'd like for you not to be over here. I, I you know, because I really like this guy. And I got a chance with him. Please don't mess, mess it up. Nine times out of ten, your mama understands. She don't, oh well. She not getting in. I don't care if she live with you. When your man come, she got to get the fuck out. I don't care how much you knock him. It's rain outside. Throw an umbrella out there. 
If you gotta die, tell throw the keys and tell him to go sit in that goddamn car. I don't care how long. If he gonna spend a night there, well, your mama can come in when y'all in the bed and she can go to her room. She can't fuck with you, fuck it up then. So I guess, you know, I don't I don't want your mama to get a cold off from the rain. But you do what you gotta do. Cause this is only this this is only one life. They talk, they, they, you know, they talk about all this other shit. Yeah, I believe in spirits. I believe in a type of reincarnation. But that ain't gonna be you. It's not gonna be you. Not the you that's standing here living right now in 2021. In July 20, 27, 2021, it ain't gonna be you. So you gotta do what's best for you. In the day's world. Now it's other it's a few other spells. I gotta to talk too long on this one. But you can you you can you can use that same approach to money. Especially you females. Let's be real. The female is no she's the master of physicality, of sexuality. Even these lesbians that swear up and that you know. Say men, you objectify women. They objectify women. So you, you, I mean, men, you can use it too in another way for money. But the way you have to act with uh, an image is like a woman would expect her boyfriend to act, dance with the image. Kind of like with the image. Look, set a table, set a plate for the image. Romance the image. Romance the image. They do the same thing at the window. When the wind go out, you say, love will come back to me. When the wind come in, you call and you say, come on, come on back, come on back. That's what you do. What other little things I'm gonna give you? I'm gonna give you a few more. I, I ain't gonna tell you how to harm nobody. Well, okay. Back in the day, if a woman was pregnant or, or hurt, or a person hurt or anything, especially a woman was pregnant, they would take an axe. Have it the sharp side up under the bed, and that was supposed to cut pain. But did it really cut pain? I don't know. I suppose it did for some people. Because a lot of this stuff is you putting your own spirit into it. The human spirit is a very powerful thing. As a matter of fact, next to the creator, it's the most powerful force in the universe. The human spirit. Because you as a human are the only thing that has the whole cosmos inside of you. Animals don't have the whole cosmos. They got pieces of the whole. They don't have the whole. But even animals... You got some magical animals. You got some magical animals. And all animals hold a certain type of magic. Because when I'm coming to your home, there's always an omen or something. So folks, I want you to know I am doing readings. I'm doing a geomancy reading. And I do card readings. Not no tarot card, but regular playing card. Because that's the first type of cards our ancestors who practice what you call hoodoo. What they call Christian, Christian, Christian. You see, at them times, those people were, you know, the slave master didn't want the blacks to know Christian. Because as quiet as it's kept, there's some revolutionary shit in that as well. 
Because one day I'll tell you, but the whole religion of Judaism started as a revolutionary movement. In, in, in some aspects. We'll get to that another time. Yahweh is a revolutionary God. Yahweh was a revolutionary God. Until the kings and shit changed the whole thing. The Bible, the Torah, you got now, got a lot of good shit in it. Especially recipes. Whereas you people in witches say today spells, recipes, is what hoodoos call it. And call it today. A real hoodoo. Guys who are more real than me down south. Some guys who don't have to do don't have to do shit, they're just thinking. And your teeth will fall out. Your dick will fall off. They call it a recipe. Don't don't run down there trying to find one. They not they not the time that just kinda of just gonna take you in anyone and tell everyone they see you. They ain't like these white marketeers and such. Trying to profit off of it. But there is certain white marketeers that have garnish uh, secrets and hoodoo. I don't know how strong their stuff is. But a lot of them got it from old black people. But anyway, getting back to what I'm saying. These hoodoos I told you about, the powerful ones down south, a lot of them, they may pass their shit on to one of their relatives, one of their descendants, if they see that it's their fate to have this path, their destiny, to have this pass down to them. If not, they may take it to the grave with them. This stuff ain't, it, it's not, um, this shit ain't no play toy. I used to have a, a, a Facebook page called uh, what is it on? African American Hulu or something like that. I only found a few people who was worthy of me passing down some stuff. Because I was just feeding, I was just giving and giving and giving. And very few of them gave anything. And it wasn't, it was like a pit. So if I'm feeding you all the time and you ain't feeding me nothing, that means that my energy is going towards you and you're not reciprocating towards me. So if I keep doing some shit like that, I'm liable to fall dead. So I just cut the whole thing. I just left it. I don't think nobody did nothing with it because they ain't about shit. Now, see, I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of black folks, they get mad at white folks because they tell they, the, the white folks learn anything about who And they take it and they profit from it. And you niggas ain't doing nothing. You ain't. I'm going to tell you the truth. The white man is more dynamic than you, than most of you. That means he's willing to do more and put up more. I know he's got naturally more money. But he's willing, even the ones that don't, they'll get together and put their little scraps together. They'll go all the way over to Africa to get the shit. And when they find somebody like me, they're going to support me. They're going to come to my house. They're going to buy me this if I need this. They're going to buy me that if I need that. They're going to support me. And that's very important. I'm not going to give them new African hoodoo, but the spirits will kill me. But regular hoodoo, yeah, I'll give them some. I'll give them a little bit. Now, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll hook up something. For, I'm going to hook up a mojo for a white boy, white female. I'll give them a love spell, something. But I won't share with them the more powerful shit. Because that's some shit we need now and going to need in the future to free ourselves. Not only from them, but from all the Asians too. See, all these people are Neanderthal descendants, Asians and whites. 
they say you only have two to four percent the anthol, but that two to four percent, that's why they have light skin and and, and uh, straight kind of you know different hair than us. It's not a direct gene from the anthol; it's a mutation off of the anthol gene. All other peoples in the world have Neanderthal in them, but the Africans. Don't you forget that. These people are not 100% human. But there ain't nothing to be 100% human. But that's the reason for the way the white man's been treating us for hundreds of years. But I'll get into that in another, in another uh, video. Now, I'm going to be doing some readings. If you want readings, get in contact with me. Put in the comment section. Is there any other section on YouTube? You can, uh... Yeah, you can send me some shit. That can't nobody else send me. Send me some shit. I'm also on Messenger. Facebook Messenger. Uh, my name there is Ova Ben Yakana. So, that's my name anyway, Ova Ben Yakana. So, if you want some kind of medicine, you call it all medicine too. You need to find a lover. You need a little money. Inbox me. I'll give you my number. See, I wasn't really, I wasn't, I fought this shit. I wasn't going to do it. But the spirit, Yahweh, wouldn't let me walk away. Because I'm doing his work. I'm talking about the original Yahweh before they changed him into like this tyrannical only worship me God. Yeah, we think Yahweh was worshipped. But he had retainers, he had agents that went out and did his bidding. He had a wife. A goddess. There's always a god and a goddess. It was one there too, but this king, these kings. Well, what happened was the environment changed, okay? Just like in, in, your, in Yorba land, they had just the Orisha. And then the environment changed. And all these disparate tribes that worshipped uh, alike, that were uh, cousins, they, they always uh, uh, participated, helped each other. But now it got serious from the Islamic threat and from other African tribes, and they had to be welded together in a fist. And Shango was one of those men who went about doing that. And then Ifa was put on top of that. Instead of just having kings and little king, uh, uh, little, little chieftainships and shit like that, it became an empire. Because it had to. To fight Islam. Because the Muslims was coming. On their ass. And they wasn't no. They wasn't Middle Eastern. It was black Muslims. Somali. And shit like that. And the Hausa. The Fulani. And then. If I was put on, on top, they all had to come together under one central power. And that's what happened with the Jubilee. But Yahweh, don't, don't get it twisted. Yahweh was always the main God. You, they, Wave. And the Old Testament is full of, uh, full of magic. And that's what I state. My whole practice on. 
You that wild thing. The original. So anyway, let's say goodbye to you folks. I'm not going to give you the whole apple cart in one video. If you really appreciate the hoodoo man, you'll, 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 more of you will come and you'll tell your friends about me. And I'll get, I have a thousand subscribers by the end of August. Uh, that's not going to happen. Because I only had 98 in 10 years. But anyway, tell people about me. If you really want to read me, try me. I think I'll charge $20 for these. For big ones. Like, I'll give you a yes, no, maybe for 20 If you want the real big ones, if you want me to go into detail, the elaborate geomancy reading, because geomancy, geomancy, <laughs> is the divination that E5 comes out of. I'm, pre I'm sure of that. I pretty much proved it. To a bunch of, to a lot of, to, a, to E5 priests who, I mean, heavy. I proved it. Geomancy originally comes out of Africa, out of Egypt, but then the Arabs got it, too. So, the form that it's in now, it's got it got it got stuff from all over from Rome, from uh, Egypt, from Arabs, but it's the original E five. Even got the original story, the story, the original story of how E five got E five or a or whatever got E five. It's the same story of how uh, Hermes treats Magistus. And um, Geomancy got it. Same story. So anyway, anyway, hit me up, get a reading, subscribe, and until we meet again, peace. Amen. Peace.